want to put anything out in the world. It's going to hurt anybody. So I need to be done with this channel for now or for forever. I don't know. Jenna Marbles is one of the most important people in the story of YouTube. She first became viral 10 years ago with her video, How to Trick People Into Thinking You're Good Looking, and since then, she has gained the love of literally millions of people. She is witty, hilarious, and has the most adorable dogs that YouTube has ever seen. She's also super down to earth, and people admired her because she clearly made YouTube videos because she loved it, and not because she wanted to get money. And best of all, she was completely unproblematic. Or was she? Last summer, Jenna made a video announcing her decision to quit YouTube for an indefinite amount of time, maybe forever. This was the end of an era. Around this time, Shane Dawson, another member of the YouTube royalty, was finally canceled after years of problematic content. And Jenna's fans thought that she hadn't done anything remotely close to Shane's despicable actions. Jenna's fans were heartbroken by the news, and they believed that Jenna had no reason to go. Other people, however, were happy that she was taking accountability for her mistakes. So what really happened for Jenna to quit her channel? Was she canceled like so many other YouTubers? Today, I'll tell you the truth about why Jenna Marbles quit social media, so Keep watching. Throughout her career, Jenna gathered over 20 million subscribers on her YouTube channel. Her content included makeup videos, challenges, cooking, dog videos, and many other things. She's very creative and sweet, and she's also incredibly funny. As her following grew, Jenna got a lot of offers to have her own TV series and move to more traditional media, but she rejected them because she preferred the freedom that YouTube gave her. She was always super loyal to the platform. Jenna also got nominated for several awards for her YouTube career and won the Viral Superstar Award and the YouTube Ensemble Award with her partner Julian. Jenna's career seemed to be going strong. She was on YouTube to stay. Many other creators fell from grace over the years, but Jenna's unproblematic content made her controversy proof. And she was so extremely loved that everyone thought that she was impossible to cancel. That's why so many people were surprised when she sort of canceled herself. In the beginning of last year, many content creators were publicly supporting the BLM movement, but not all of them were innocent. Shane Dawson was questioned for repeatedly doing blackface, but he was not the only one. There was one 2011 video that people found where Jenna appears to be doing blackface while pretending to be Nicki Minaj. And that was not the only video of Jenna that people thought of as problematic. There's another one from 2011 where she can be seen mocking Asian people and singing a very racist line in a rap song. Finally, there was one other video where Jenna refers to some women in a derogatory way and then she makes several judgments about what they get up to in their private lives. Throughout that talk, Jenna says other inappropriate things that we just can't repeat, but let's just say it's not exactly female empowerment. When people demanded an apology from Jenna, her fans argue that all of those videos were very old. Some people also said that if you compare them to some of the awful things that other YouTubers have done, they were not that bad. In fact, it looked like the internet was so in love with Jenna that they were willing to overlook her past mistakes and not cancel her. But on June 25th, Jenna uploaded a video addressing those videos. Not only did she apologize, but she also announced that she would retire from YouTube after a decade of creating content. Before talking about Jenna's last apology video, I just wanted to point out that there were actually a couple of times that Jenna addressed her past content. In 2015, while talking to Shane Dawson in a podcast, she talked about her Nicki Minaj video and she said that she had not done blackface, she was just very tan. Then she said, if I wanted to do blackface, it would be like that moon face emoji. Then in May 2016, Jenna made a video reacting to her old content. She read a comment from one of her viewers that said, I didn't like when she made fun of him by calling him gay, but it shows how she's grown in the past few years as a person. After reading this comment, Jenna went on to acknowledge that there were some things she said in the past that were not okay, and that she realized she didn't want to be like that, so she changed. But that change didn't erase her videos from the internet. Fast forward to summer last year, Jenna made a lot of her old content private over the course of a few days. Then in June 2020, she uploaded a video where she admits that she had made some mistakes. Jenna started by saying that she always tries to do better, that she continuously takes in the feedback that she gets and that it had made her grow and evolve as a person. Jenna even played her problematic video so everyone knew what she was talking about. Once everything was on the table, Jenna said that she was sorry and assured people that she wanted to be accountable and not cause anyone harm. 
What makes Jenna's apology different from all the other apology videos that YouTubers post on a regular basis is that she literally made no excuses. She didn't play the victim. She didn't even explain the situation around her offensive videos. She just admitted that regardless of what her intention was, she had made people feel bad and she was sorry for that. Jenna finished her video by saying that she doesn't want to hurt or offend anyone and with a broken voice, she announced that she would move on from that channel. Maybe for some time, maybe forever. Some of her fans were devastated. Other people, not that much. Let's keep in mind that unlike many other fellow YouTubers at that time, yeah, I'm looking at you, Shane. Jenna was not actually canceled. She chose to take accountability for her actions before even being asked to do so. Some people were happy that she was trying to make things right. Some others were angry and thought that Jenna was just another victim of cancel culture, but most people were supportive of her decision and showed her their unconditional love. One of the strongest voices that spoke up about the situation was PewDiePie, who thought that it was very unfair that Jenna had felt the need to quit YouTube. After Jenna's apology video, PewDiePie posted a statement saying that Jenna's past actions did not reflect who she is today and that anyone who watches her videos could see how much she has grown. Then he went on to say, I thought the point was to learn from your mistakes and do better. We all have problems in our past. No one in the world is perfect. He ended the statement saying that he was very disappointed with the internet. Another person on Reddit agreed that Jenna had changed a lot and said, I used to absolutely hate Jenna for her past content. I was very aware of her misogynistic and offensive videos, but in the four or five years since she's made videos like that, I think she's honestly changed a lot more than the people she's being compared to. She's made videos about how embarrassed slash not okay she is by slash with her content in the past. But as much as there is support for Jenna, there's also people who pointed out that regardless of how much she has changed, she needed to take responsibility for her actions. According to them, it would be unfair if Jenna got a free pass for her videos because people like her current content. As one person put it, it isn't fair to pick and choose whose action you let slide because you prefer their content. If you're against them, that should be that, regardless of who it's coming from. The variety of opinions about Jenna has definitely opened a debate about cancel culture and how we change and evolve as people, so what can we take from this? YouTuber T Noir points out that if many people thought that Jenna's decision to quit YouTube was radical, it's only because we're used to super lousy apologies from people who just want to brush off the controversy and carry on getting money from YouTube videos. Also, the fact that Jenna is holding herself accountable for her action is what exactly makes her a good ally against discrimination. And even if it is sad that we no longer have Jenna and her dogs to make us happy, she's a good example of how we can acknowledge our mistakes and become better. Another haunting thing that came up from this situation is the fact that back in the 2010s when Jenna Marbles posted her problematic videos, this kind of behavior was extremely normalized on YouTube. That's why many other creators, Shane among them, were able to get away with it for such a long time. The same freedom that allowed content creators to do whatever they wanted was the one that gave a platform to hate speech. And to be fair, for a while back then, a lot of us gave a free pass to those behaviors that are so condemned now. And I know that many people believe that everyone gets offended by everything nowadays, but it's more that people who didn't feel comfortable enough to speak up back then now feel like it's safe to do so. Also, we should always keep in mind that the fact that something doesn't hurt us doesn't mean that it can't hurt others. And realizing how some actions can hurt others will never be a bad thing. It's only going to make us better. Many of us love Jenna's recent content and her videos will definitely be missed on the platform. However, many of the videos that she produced over a decade of YouTube are still up, so we can always revisit them. The end of Jenna Marbles may be the end of an era, but that also means that there may be something new and exciting coming up. So let's keep an eye out for new creators with fresh content. What are your thoughts on Jenna and how she canceled herself? Let me know in the comments.